Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to extract tables from PDF in Power Automate Desktop. So if I search for extract tables from PDF, firstly, I would like to need to understand what is the output of this extracted PDF tables. So first of all, let me look for the file here. Under advanced option, don't need to change anything and click save. Okay, so from here, let me open my invoice. So it's actually looking from here, right? But let's take a look what is the output of this variable. So let me use a display message and I hover to here. It says there is a list of PDF table info. So if I expand this, it show me count. So what I we are not sure what, what is this value, right? So if I click save and I try to run it let's see what is the output so it returns me table one two three so it's actually telling me that in this pdf i have three table and this three table i have in page one i have one row and two columns so we are not really sure what are those values right so to know to get the values what we can do is we can use the for each loop okay in this extracted PDF table, I want to rename this as current table, right? Okay, so if I move it inside here and let's take a look what is the current table variable is called PDF table info. So if I expand this, actually there's more variables here available, which is we can get the data table or we can also get the data table, the columns, and there's also a column header. All right, so over here, there's a lot of information we can get here, but let me just take a look at what is the data table output. So if I click save, so the first one it assumes it extracted as Contoso Electronics and Invoice 1001. All right, and then move on, it actually extracted this as a table without the column name and continue tax shipping and total all right so now we are going to enhance this uh, such that for each of this table we will write into excel so what we can do from here right i want to make this as a fresh start so always i want to terminate a process and i want to terminate an excel So from here, after that, I want to launch Excel. If a blank document, make instance as visible, and then I click Save. And of course, I when I launch this Excel, I want to maximize the window. So I would like to use a win set window state. And I base on by window instance and I select Excel instance and I set it as maximize. All right, so now I want to, for each of these table, I want to have their own sheets, right? So if I launch a new Excel, it will automatically create for me uh, a sheet name called sheet one, right? But I need to rename that sheet. So let's take a look. What do I mean by that? Let me use a message box here. So display message. Okay, so let me open here. This this sheet one, right? So we are going to enhance this such that if for each of this table, right, I want to set a variable called table index. Table index, and I set it as one. Okay, so what I do here is that. I want to use 
this and call it as a sheet name and I want to declare the sheet name as table followed by the table index all right and of course at the end of the loop I need to increase the variable plus one okay and then from here I would like to check if the table index is equals to one then I want to rename the worksheet rename the excel worksheet based on the first index which is zero sorry it should be start at index one okay and then the worksheet name I want to call it as sheet name okay and then else instead of rename the worksheet i will add the worksheet add new worksheet and the worksheet name as sheet name and i will add the worksheet to the last okay so now let's take a look here if I run this flow, okay, let me open here. So, table one, okay. If I click on the message box again, table two, table three, right? So, now the first step done, ready. Let's go back here and click stop. Okay, so now we are going to make it uh, such as we want to write the column name. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is I need to set active Excel worksheet. And then based on the name, I will use as sheet name. Click save. So this one done. Let's minimize this. Okay, so from here, what I will do next is I do a loop. Okay, so over here, there are two ways. I can use for each. For each extracted table, no, sorry, for each table here, columns here, I can do this and call it as current column but i want to get the index here so it's a bit uh that i need to create another variable right so which is a bit time consuming so i'm going to put it such as i'm using loop because loop will provide me the loop index so over here i will use a loop start from one okay and two data table dot columns dot count okay increment by one and i want to call it as column index okay so why do i do this because later on uh, when i want to get i want to keep on writing here 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 right based on the column name but we are going to use a get first free row and column so the get first free row it first first free column will always give me starting from b c d e f g and so forth right they will not give me a so what i can do here as an alternative i will set a condition here if column index is equals to one then I will write the Excel worksheet here as value to write here. I will use the column name, right? But from here, because I'm using a loop, what I can do is from this current table, I get this data table and I select this column. 
okay so from here i want to get the index so from here i will use the column index but minus one why because they will this table and the columns the loop will start from zero it will not start from one okay so from here then i would like to write on a specified cell and then the column i want to write at column a at which row one else I would use get first free column. Okay, and then I would use write on Excel. The value to write is the same thing, but the column here we will use first free column. Okay, so now let's save this and run this flow. Okay, so let me open here now i have the column name okay continue item quantity unit cost amount okay so now if i go back here as you can see here you need to understand um not all table will be giving me the exact column name so over here if i take a look here these are some of the things where you need to do additional checks to 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 fit the needs of of your extracting of this table so different pdf you have a different uh, output so you need to cater this accordingly right okay so let me go back here and stop this okay so from here what I want to do here is that let me remove this. I want to write the all the tables starting from A2 onwards. Alright, so if I go back to here and I copy this and paste it right above the increase variable, I want to write the entire table value into my column A but starting from row 2 right next we will then close the excel and i want to save it as extracted output so if i run this flow Table 1 has populated, now it's table 2. And table 3. And then check Excel. Alright, and then let me click OK and finish. So that's all for this exercise. Um, what you can see here is that you can do some enhancements like um, you can get a list of files in a folder. And then for each of the PDF files, you extract tables from PDF. And then over here, when closing the Excel, you can put it into a dynamic naming convention. Right? So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.